Welcome back, everyone. Um, this is going to be episode 16, I believe. Uh, I just check, double checking my mic. Um, and in today's episode, we're going to be doing uh, inventory. So let's get started right away. Um, the first thing that you need to do is I've already done this, but um, we need to create a JSON file of inventory. So the way you can do this is just create a new text document, and then you can just say item, the, no, no, add a bunch of stuff, and then say JSON, and it'll ask you to change whatever, change it, that's okay, uh, and you create a JSON easily. So I'm going to delete that. I have this file right here. This is going to be the structure of our items. Um, and so let me just delete one and show you how that can be done. Uh, oops. Yeah, there we go. Um, so if I ever want to add more, I can just comma here and then add like a number two, right? So I can copy that and say uh, number two or number one. So this would be a different item because the index is different. So this is going to be a dictionary essentially full of a bunch of different items. There's um, region, type, rarity, and then the index. Um, so we can have like wooden staff. Um, let's go to our inventory and see what we have. Um, let's go to weapons. Uh, I have one wooden staff. Where are they? We have wooden staff, and then we have like some silver staff thing. So we can, can rename this to silver staff. And you can kind of fill it out with a bunch of stuff you want, right? So use would be um, right hand for now. Let's do that. And then right hand. Um, let's. Okay, so um, I'll kind of explain a little bit as we go, but yeah. Um, let's go back into our game and let's start setting up our inventory. So we're going to create a new canvas layer. Uh, canvas layer, there we go. And we're going to rename this to inventory, inventory screen. I'm going to save this in, not right here. I'm actually going to save the scene first. Let's see, where are we going to save it? We're going to save it in our inventory file. So let's save that there. Let's create a new script inventory screen. And we're going to have two other nodes. So we're going to have a regular node. And I'm going to duplicate that. Whoops. Duplicate that. Duplicate this. This one's going to be inventory. And this one's going to be UI input handler. No, I don't want to put all caps input handler. There we go. And then in our inventory screen, I'm just going to be copy pasting a bit of code. So that way, um, things go a bit smoother. So let's go into our inventory first. So we're going to have to create an inventory, inventory script. I'm going to go into here. Let's close everything. So we only have one script and we don't get lost. Um, we're going to delete all this and let's, let's read our inventory data first. So the first function we're going to have is read inventory data. So what this is going to do is allow us to save um, or open an, a saved inventory. So at the moment, there's no saved inventory. Right? So it's going to take this inventory. That is our current inventory. So any anything I want to put in my game in the inventory is going to be saved into this file, right? This, this file is not our inventory. This is our database for items, right? So whenever I add an item, it's going to go into this inventory. So it's a bit different, right? So it's going to open it. Um, we're going to fill it out with the line, get line, or parse the, the JSON file. Uh, and then this just um, will allow us to fill the inventory. All right? so let's actually create, um, let's get a few variables that we actually need. Um, just double check. Um, so for our inventory, the first thing we're going to do is actually create an inventory, uh, which is a dictionary. Um, for the item, Okay, yeah, we'll do item. Okay, so so for the item itself, uh, we're going to have to actually do that first. So let me pull up my reference. There you go. Okay, so we're gonna have to actually make this item as well on the outside. So let's go to a new node. We need to do a 2D scene in which you name it to item. And then let's just close this inventory on the left so we have things more organized. Close so the global. Uh, and we'll put it in here. So let's save this and put it in our inventory. And then we're going to make a script for this. And in this script, we're going to, this is going to be the item that we load into the game, right? So each inventory will have an item or each item will have a node essentially, right? All right, so I've just copy pasted a bunch of stuff. Um, let's go through all of this one by one. 
So the first things here are pretty self-explanatory. There's just a bunch of variables that are going to hold um, everything in here. So we have path, description, icon, use, etc. So there's a bunch of things. Um, you can just do a, a few of them for now. But keep in mind, you will have to do this for each variable. If there is a variable missing, the game will error, or it'll, it'll error. It won't work properly, right? All right. And then in the read JSON data, it's going to go into this data and read it and see what's going on, right? So we have, um, so we open our file, we check if it exists, we open it, and then we get our data. We're going to create a dictionary with our data, right? So this data is going to hold all this. So um, we're just going to hold all of this, sorry. So all this stuff, it's going to put all that data into, into this dictionary. And then we're going to fill in all the variables. So we have our ID, item name, type. And so we have data at the region, at the type, rarity. Um, this is basically just going down the dictionary. So we go from region, right, region. We go to type, type. Then we go to rarity, rarity. And then we get this string, which is an index, right? So the index is like zero, for example, right? Or one, right? So keep in mind, this is because in here, we're for looping our item, right? So we're getting our current line, let's say zero for now. That's going to be the first index, index zero, right? So here we have, we should have index on the right, I think, no. Um, index, where is it? Index should be the first one, sorry. So yeah, it should, it should be this one, right, the path. Um, and then it's going to basically get the path index zero or one or whatever and get which item it is. And it's just going to fill everything out, right? So we're going to fill all the all these things out, all the description, the icon, whatever. Um, the icon, keep in mind, this is an icon, right? So let me actually change the icon for the silver stuff because I didn't do that. So let's go to weapons, let's go to staff, and I'm going to copy the path right here. So if I right click, right copy path or control shift C, to go into here and we can take this and just copy paste it. Oh, I have to make sure it's in a string. There we go. So now it's staff 101B. This is 1A. So now it has different icons. So the description and everything else is the same. Um, the agility, whatever, whatever is all the same. It's all zero. Um, but we still do want to set it here, right? So this is the item info. And then the get stat we can use later on. So these are a bunch of different functions for later on if you ever need to use them. So get stat, like you can print it here or whatever. Um, however, obviously, there's nothing in our inventory, so we can't even check right now. So let's add a new function. Let's actually fill this out first. So let's go to item. Let's go to the item that we just created and fill that in. And then let's go back to her. I'm going to go back to my reference. Let me just check I have. Boop, boop, boop. All right, so the next thing is we're going to have a function that actually saves our data. So we have our, our save inventory data. This is going to be very similar to our utils um, save. Um, the so yeah, let me open it up. So it's very similar in the sense that it's doing the same thing. If you if you understood what ha what's happening here, it's almost the same thing. So we have save inventory data. We're going to create a new file. We're going to open that file, um, and then we're going to fill it in with all the keys and and stuff that we have. So our inventory is this guy. We're going to fill it in with whatever we have in there, and we're going to for loop within the size and just fill it in. Right, uh, store line. Right, and then close the file, and then util so game because why not? Uh, let's close all this, and as you can see, we have a few errors. So we have get item count. We have to actually get that um, function. So there's a few functions um, that I'm going to copy paste now, and these are pretty useful. So we have get keys. This one is a must. We must ha we have to use this eventually. Um, we have get icon. If I want the icon of the key, we have get item count. So this is, this is pretty helpful. And this is the one that we had down here. Item count. Um, because if one of my items have, maybe I have more than one item, right? So if I have two coins, for example, or no, that's a bad example, two swords, I would want to count it as two swords instead of as two separate items, right? Um, you can also do get item and we have a get item path, which is very useful. Um, let's keep going. So we have two more functions that we're going to use. We have insert item and remove item. So insert item is insert. Right, so we're going to check if the if the inventory already has that item, and then we're going to add it. We're going to push it into the front. If not, or if um, you know, sorry, if it does not have it, um, you can see the comments on the side right now. They kind of explain everything. So um, this isn't the best 
inventory tutorial, but inventory is very, I don't want to go coding all this with you, but um, I'm going to try to pause the video as much as I can so you can kind of follow along. And in the end, I will also upload this um, file on a GitHub at the end of the series. So you're going to have to keep following along to, to get that GitHub. Um, now, inventory size, we also have to put on the top. So let's actually do that. So we have our inventory size, which will be 25. So we'll have 25 different slots. Um, we might change that, but that's which is why we export it. Um, but what else do we have? Oh, yeah. Last two things we need. Or last few things we need. So we have our ready function, which is going to just read our inventory data to see if there's anything in our inventory. We're going to load it, right? So we want to load our inventory if there's anything in it. Um, we have create item, which is using the insert item. So insert item allows us to do this within the JSON file and our actual inventory array. But create um, item allows us to actually create a node of it, right? So it allows us to actually instance it, right? Um, get item stats is also helpful. That'll turn the stats of, of something. Um, and yeah, so that's it. Um, let's do, do, do. Let's now, let me double check something. So now what we should be able to do is, well, we can play it. Let's um, add it to our UI though. So let's go inventory, inventory screen, and add that in. Where's it go? Why is it? Oh, because there's nothing in our inventory screen, right? Okay, um, let's actually add a panel. No, let's not add a panel. Let's. Um, You know what? Let's delete this and put it in our pause instead. Let's go here and add it into our inventory screen. And then, no, I lied. Let's put it back in our UI, sorry, because our pause has our quest system right now. So let's put this here. Um, we'll make the transform zero. Okay, it's already zero, awesome. Let's go into our inventory screen and we'll add a panel. Panel, add that, um, we'll snap it, we'll make it, relatively small, so not too big. And then this is going to be our background. So I'm just going to say BG. I'm going to lock it because I don't want to move it. And then um, let's, let me just double check something. OK, let's um, play and see what happens. So let's see if we get any errors. OK, nice. Um, no errors. So now what we can do is let's try to create an item. So let's create item. Uh, one, I guess. Let's play. Let's see what happens. Awesome. Nothing happened, uh, or something happened, but no errors. So we've created an item, but we haven't put it anywhere. So we've instanced it, but we haven't put it anywhere, right? So let's actually, since this item now exists, though, um, let's let's go into our. Yeah, no, actually, let's do it here. No, let's do it in the UI input handler. Let's create a script for that. Let's go into this guy, let's say function, input, input. Um, and we're just going to go into pause, and we're just going to copy this. I'm just going to copy this entire thing. Go into here, input, uh, yeah, I'm just going to copy all of it. But instead of pausing, what we'll do is we'll save. So we're going to get, get node um, in, inventory. So we want to go to our inventory, and then we want to save which I'm going, I don't remember the name of it, which is down here, read and then save. Okay, let's go here, let's uh, go back to our input and then save. Awesome, now every time I pause, it should save. Um, let's double check that it actually saved by going into here and let's print something real quick. So blah, blah, blah. let's print, okay, it might not have saved, so let's actually reload our game, uh, play. Okay, so we've saved. Let's close our game. Let's delete this. And then, uh, because I know I'm reading our inventory, let's see if there's anything in our inventory. Well, right now we have um, file does not exist. So now when I play, it should say something exists. Okay, so we have we have an error already. Awesome. Let's see what's going on. Invalid get index on base three. Let's check. Let's go to our inventory here. No, it's going to be somewhere else. It's going to be our user, not res. Um, the reason it's user, by the way, and not res is because um, if you ever want to use this in Android, res won't work. Um, user will work for everything, but res will not work. 
Um, so let's, yeah, let's let's debug this though. Let's see what's going on. Oh, what was the error? I didn't even read it. Um, okay, I have to reload. I, I didn't read it. I don't know what it said. Invalid get index on on get index three, so it would be this one. Um, it's very strange. It should be saving as this. So I'm not sure why it's doing that. Um, path three. Let's do two. Let's see what happens if I just do two. The error. Yep. Let's change it to zero. Let's see what happens. Invalid get index is zero. Okay. Um, I'll be right back. I'm going to check what's going on. And all right, we're back. Um, this was a sim pretty simple mistake. Um, I didn't realize the item was wrong. So in our item itself, um, we were reading from the wrong position. So here we're checking if the item file exists, right? And before it didn't exist because it was at the wrong path. So um, what you have to do is in our inventory, that's where we've made it. We've made the items.json right there. So you have to copy the path and just copy it here. Uh, let's do like that. And then slash items.json. You might have to actually write this in, right? So whatever you named it, you have to name it properly and make sure that's right. And uh, if you want, you can even print something here to like double check that you did it right. Um, but yeah, that was the issue. Um, so our items is done. Let's close that again. Uh, let's close pause. Let's go to our inventory. Um, so here we can, here, let's actually save and load again. So save and load basically. Um, save. So our, our thing should be empty. Um, it should become empty. And then we're going to check our file to see if there's anything in it, which there shouldn't be because we just saved it before we even loaded it. Um, and then we're going to create an item. And I've changed the path to our res. So now we can see. So if I open this file, we can now see our inventory save. So if I open it, ooh, there's nothing there. Oh, I know why. I just tested this. I did this mistake. So when I play, I have to save it by clicking Escape. So um, say we've saved it. We go back to our res. Now if we go to our inventory save, here's our item. There we go. So this is our inventory. So now we have an item in our inventory, which is awesome. Um, so this is a working inventory system. This allows us to add items into a JSON file with our current inventory. Um, I think I'll end the video here. And in the next video, we'll actually learn how to use that with slots and items and other things. So in the actual game, how are we going to put our UI to use that? Right. So we're going to use in, uh, input handler to be able to actually do something with those items. Right. Um, I, I would urge you to try to figure it out. I, uh, I'll give it a little hint. So in here, okay. So in our, in our functions that we've, um, written or hopefully you've written and I copy paste it, we have, our functions allow us to read data from my inventory. We have save inventory data, and we have a bunch of other things and other functions, right? We have a get item, we have get item count, we have get item icon, etc. right? So use these, try to use these functions to see how can I, how can I use these to actually put it into my game, right? Um, you can test to see if remove item works. Uh, you can test use whatever. Um, keep in mind, uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. That's it. Um, so yeah, we have read JSON data. That's how we can read from a specific item. So keep all that in mind. Um, yeah, next video, we'll actually learn how to use our UI to interact with these items. It'll be very simple, I think, um, as simple as I can, I can get it to be. But it'll be something useful, hopefully. Um, in the meantime, uh, I will upload this to my GitHub. Uh, I'm sure I think the GitHub, you can probably find it if you like look hard enough, um, but I will put it in the end of the series. So it'll be like a little congratulations, you finished the series. Um, there's the GitHub if you want, if you ever needed help. Um, but yeah, in the meantime, um, if you have any questions, comments below. You can also join my Discord down below. Um, like, share, comment, give me a thumbs up. Um, I Yeah, I don't know, that's it. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time.